Yo, 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 this is Brandon Dang from BrandonVDang.com, Primal Health Coach. Today we are going to be talking about the gut microbiome. All right, so your body has, right now on your body, you got trillions and trillions of microbes on there and they, they serve a function in your body. We, nowadays we're so scared of these microbes, we think that, oh, we're gonna get sick and all that, but they, they're living on us and they, they're beneficial to us, okay? Like some of them, there's, there's so many types of bacteria that you can't say that they're all good or all bad. There's good and bad ones. All right, so the gut microbiome. Um, read a book called Brain Maker by David Perlmutter. I highly recommend it. He talks a lot about the gut microbiome and how it connects to mental health, your brain. All right, so neurological diseases like mental health and mental health, dementia, Alzheimer's, bipolar disease, headache, autism, ADHD, depression, is becoming an increase, increasing problem, all right? <clears throat> and David, Dr. David Perlmutter, he says that the brain diseases and, and what's taking place in your gut, there's a big connection to that. It's called the brain-gut connection. You know, brain gut connection. All right, so the microbiome, the microbes in your gut, they help, they assist with immune system, functioning, detoxification, inflammation, neurotransmitter, vitamin production, uh, nutrient absorption, appetite signaling, and and utilize, utilization of carbohydrates and fat. The microbiome can affect your mood, libido, Metabolism, uh, metabolism, immunity, and even the perception of your world and the clarity of your thoughts. All right. So what? So what? David Perlmutter suggests for rehabbing your microbiome or making it as healthy as you can is one: prebiotics, two: probiotics, three: fermented foods, low-carb foods, gluten-free foods, and healthy fats. All right, so prebiotics. There, prebiotics are food that your that bacteria eat. All right, probiotics are the actual bacteria. That's just I'm just want to make sure you guys understand that. All right, so I'm gonna give you six keys. Six keys. Number one, choose foods rich in probiotics. These are fermented foods, things like live cultured uh, yogurt, kefir. Uh, kimchi, tempeh, sauerkraut, pickles made in brine. So don't get the pickles with vinegar, all right? Don't get that cultured um, cultured dairy products, fermented feet, uh, mesh, uh, fermented fish, meat, eggs. I haven't really had those myself, so I don't know how that, how that would taste. Key number two, go low carb and embrace high quality fats. Right, um, most people out there are eating way too many carbs, and that's that's um, affecting their microbiome. All right, too much sugar, too much sugar get, gets you more bad bacteria in your gut. So the food list you should eat things like vegetables, low sugar food, fruit, fermented foods. We went over that healthy fats like uh, avocados, coconuts olive oils, olives, um, seeds, nuts, grass-fed butter, okay, pasture-raised animals, and things like herb seasonings, stuff like that. Key number three, all right, key number three, which might excite a lot of people. You want to enjoy some wine, tea, coffee, chocolate, all right, this is what Dr. Dave Perlmutter suggests. Um, these foods are high in flavonoids and polyphenols, which are anti antioxidants in plants. Okay, so wine, tea, chocolate, coffee. Get more of those. And key number four, choose foods rich in prebiotics. Prebiotics are the foods you, that your gut bacteria feed on. And some examples of prebiotics are Acacia gum, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Acacia gum, I don't know. Raw chicory root, raw Jerusalem artichoke, 
raw dandelion greens, raw garlic, raw leeks, cooked raw cooked onions, asparagus. And key number five is to reduce toxin exposure. Uh, toxin exposure comes from things like chlorinated water, plastics, uh, the BPA in plastics and canned goods, uh, bipolyphenols A, I think that's what it's called, and pesticides, herbis, uh, herbicides in farm produce, cleaning chemicals, air pollution. Those are all sources of toxins. Brake dust, man. All right, the key number six is is it's crucial, all right? It's fasting. Fasting is key number six to getting a better microbiome. Fasting increases fat burning, longevity, activating certain gene pathways, and effective way of reducing calories. Um, I made a whole video of fasting. I'll, I'll link it up, all right? But there's so many benefits to fasting. And another a bonus is recommended supplements for a healthy gut. Uh, we're talking about DHA, which is omega-3 fatty acids. You get that from your wild-caught seafood, even yeah, su supplements. And you can take turmeric, uh, which has curcumin, or you can take curcumin. And a, a way for better bioavailability of curcumin is to take it with um, black pepper or bioperine. Bioperine is a part of black pepper. No supplement, coconut oil, um, and vitamin D. Vitamin D, get it from the sun. You don't, I, I don't want to say you don't need it, but getting it from the sun is much better. And if you eat cholesterol, it's going to help your body synthesize that vitamin three into the one you, that we want. That we want the vitamin D three. All right. So the the conclusion: the microbiome is an exciting new area of research. Um, but the thing is, you know, is it really helpful for us to kind of, uh, it's good to know, but is it really helpful for us to, you know, um, measure it and try to find out exactly what microbes in our body? Because any food you eat is going to affect your microbiome a little bit. So if we just take care of our diet, take care of our lifestyle, you know, the, the microbiome is going to, is going to help us. All right. Um, an interesting thing is maybe fecal matter transplants. If you never heard of that, it's taking someone's healthy poop and then repopulating it. I don't know, putting in a pill, putting in a shake, getting someone to eat it, and that's repopulating their gut. All right, so that's an interesting area of research. There's a fly around me right now. All right, so that's the introduction to the microbiome, all right? Uh, this is Brandon Redang calling out, Primer Health Coach. Peace out.